So, welcome to the 50th edition of Tax Fridays. <laughs> um, yes, today is a little bit special video because we are doing the 50th Tax Fridays video and that is a milestone that we need to celebrate. So I have here some, this is actually, don't worry, water. <laughs> I have too much heavy equipment in front of me to actually want to drink anything else so but still so amazing that we've made it so long and uh, I have a special video prepared okay so um, we will do a couple of things so we're going to go back to see the first video at least the beginning of the first video and then we will talk about how Dax Fridays have been involved and what you think of it and at the end I have a surprise for you that I hope you will enjoy as much as I will. So let's begin. So the first thing we're actually going to do is to watch the first Tax Fridays video when I introduce the series and uh, I am not a big fan of looking at my old videos. I don't think they are that good but uh, I guess you have to do those to be able to improve the quality so I apologize for that anyhow but let's look at how all this started okay hello and good evening this is uh, Ruth Posuela from Curbub.com and Today I want to try something new, uh, I'm calling it DAX Fridays and the idea behind this is that I will go through a new DAX measure every Friday. So the purpose for this is that uh, both you and I would uh, learn the new measures uh, and we can even uh, not get reminded of old ones that perhaps we're not using that often but they are still very useful. So let me know what you think in the comment box. I would like to hear your thoughts. I would give this a try for a while and see how, how it works. Um, without uh, further delay, uh, today's uh, That's Friday is going to be about some and some X. So, so that's how everything started and uh, I remember I got like super nice comments. So I'm from Brazil, I'm loving your short videos and I've, I remember love your idea, I hope it goes for a long time and the very first comments, wonderful idea, I would prefer two or three DAX um, days more uh, so it was uh, it was fun already from the beginning I have to say that um, so as you know I have been I've asked you to give me feedback on the DAX Fridays uh, videos at the end I always tell you or encourage you to fill in a survey uh, where you actually let me know what you think about the Dax Friday videos, whether it was the best, what is the worst, and what would you like to see, if you would like me to continue with the series. So I'm going to show you a little bit the feedback that you've been giving me. I think it's, uh, it's been quite amazing. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so as you can probably imagine, I have a Power BI report on the results of the DAX Fridays uh, questionnaire that I have at the end of the videos. And uh, this is some of the results. Uh, of course, I ask you a lot more questions, but the first question is, should I continue with DAX Fridays? And there are two answers to that. The first one is yes, and the other one is C. Sí which basically means yes in Spanish. I don't know how that C got in there when I have a drop down box. Well, either way, yes and C. So I guess I will continue doing this. 
Uh, I had another question if it was would you like me to do in videos and most of you wanted to do me to do it a few of you thought that it was not necessary so I am doing once in a while uh, M videos power query videos I also have a word cloud for the question what is your favorite Dax Fridays video if any and there are a few things that pop up you have for example calculate you have earlier hierarchies so yeah you, you give me at least an idea of how i should build these videos you have switch in there and i have also another report for you know the i'm asking you which one is your least favorite video and why and then i have also a word cloud on that and you can see already what it pops up but you see helpful and none so i'm quite happy with that and here are some of your responses i absolutely love them you say all of them are good all of them are good you say I like them all, but my favorite one is the first comment I've got. Listen to this. This is what I've got. It says, mm, no, it doesn't exist. How cool is that? <laughs> but there are comments where, you know, some of you thought that some of the videos were not very useful or clear. And actually the one that was the least useful or at least the least helpful perhaps is the count video so I will do a recap on that in the coming uh, Dax Fridays video so perhaps I could explain the function in another way that makes more sense but uh, other than that uh, you have found that the Dax videos have been very very helpful and I am really happy for that so that is excellent news so what we are going to do now is actually we're going to go to the surprise and uh, this is a resource that I've been working for a while and it is fairly ready but there are a few things that I haven't been able to fill it with all the content yet and um, let me show you so you know what I mean Okay, so this is uh, Curval.com is the website for the, my company and in here I actually have a page where I try to, you know, list all the Dax Fridays videos I have with the YouTube tutorials and at the end I've been putting also the link to the examples. And, um, one thing I have learned from your comments is that you use Tax Fridays as a learning tool. So you use it as a course, like you would, uh, you know, pay for an online course. So you, you go through all the videos and you use them also to find help again about a, a specific function. So you review the videos if you are trying to use them for a specific measure for your reports. So I actually do the same. I, I view my videos when I forget something or, or when I specify something in the video that I just can't really remember. Okay, how, how was that done? So oddly enough, I use my own videos as a resource, but you know, to actually go and find the videos is not so easy. Um, for a lot of them, you know, they pop up in Google, like quite high up, so that is not a problem. But others that are new, that might be a little bit more difficult to find. So I've actually created a glossary. And let me show you. It is, a, I think, a useful resource. It will be definitely for me and hopefully for you too. So let's look at this. Um, this is a Power BI glossary. It will be live, uh, you know, after this video is uh, released and uh, the idea with this glossary is that you will be able to actually search for a function by you know searching on the se search box there and then you can just click on calculate and it will give you some information it will give you 
First, this is the link to the Microsoft pages. Okay, so I'm not trying to replicate what Microsoft is doing at all. It's, this is just a resource for finding curable information. So sometimes you will have to go to Microsoft pages to find more specific information about this measure. But what you will find here is a link to the Microsoft documentation. You will find the link for the uh, tutorials, the tutorials are embedded, so you can watch them here. And you will also find the download example. I have also added the remarks that Microsoft have in the documentation because I find them very, very useful. And I think they are nice to have them on hand. So I'm hoping that this will make easier finding the videos. Uh, there is another thing you can also do and is um, rate if you find the the function or the, the explanation useful because I will actually make more videos, new videos or correct videos based on that feedback and then you have also the opportunity to write a comment and say hey Ruth uh, I don't know, could you do this uh, or I, I would rather specify it like that or I think this part was wrong, I think it should be that way. So in that way we, they give me feedback on it and I can actually improve these and hopefully it will be a good resource in the future for everybody. Um, so let me see, we have, uh, you have a few possibilities on how to search on this. You have here the categories and then you can choose DAX, M or Power BI. I just have one M function for now and as I build more M videos I will be doing more, I'm putting it here but I don't have a lot of M videos yet. I have like a Power BI definitions, if you click on here you will see for example variables, that is not a measure, it's just a function. So like specific Power BI stuff will be included. And then we have just DAX functions. And you can just filter there and then you can just click on the letter to see which ones I have available. I have like around 50% of the videos I've done and, and I'm filling the resource as time allows. I thought actually that I will have the time to do everything but as you probably are aware the, brings, the links on my website broke all of them so it's taking a lot of time to, to fix that mess so I couldn't really have time for both but you have a lot of information here already so hopefully this will help. Yeah so this is all for today's Tax Fridays. I hope you enjoyed the resource, I hope you enjoyed the celebration and uh, yeah soon we're going to have a new celebration and I'm going to keep this five on zero and not two more but that will be in like a month time so we wait for that. So have a happy happy Friday and a great weekend Thank you so much for watching all the Dax Fridays videos. I hope you enjoyed the resource. Let me know in the comment box. Be active, help me build the glossary. I would love to do it with you. And uh, I see you again on Monday. Bye.